me know your thoughts on the new intro in the comment section down below, as well as check out my vlog channel, which is linked in the description box down below. Dragon Ball Z is one of the most well-known and influential anime of all time. However, when it comes to Dragon Ball Z in America, it has a history of bad dubs, and of course, really bad home releases. Of course, one of the most famous of these home releases is the Orange Brick box set. Even the so-called Blu-ray edition that Funimation have released prior to today's video isn't very good. Doesn't change the fact that this isn't even a release of Dragon Ball Kai, which has improved animation and, of course, an improved dub. This is not even the Kai version. This is Dragon Ball Z, or at least that's how it's being marketed. That would be fine if we were talking about something like Full Model Alchemist that had a good dub. We're not. Dragon Ball Z's dub and basically all of the Dragon Ball dubs really suck. This is also the first time they've released the series in its original aspect ratio and completion. They did try to release some Blu-rays in the original aspect ratio way back in 2011, but they were cancelled. First of all, the remasters overall just look horrible. They're ugly, they don't look good, and in some ways they're actually a downgrade from other releases like the Dragon Boxes. Also, despite the fact that these were created through working with Toei Animation, do not compare in the slightest to the remasters of some of the movies like the Bardock special that were released prior by Toei Animation this year. There are also shots in this trailer that are actually missing some of the footage that were in some of the widescreen releases, despite it being in the original aspect ratio. I honestly don't even understand how Funimation did that or why, that is a mystery to me, but it doesn't make sense and it does hurt their integrity because they're saying this isn't a release in the original aspect ratio, meaning we should be getting the full picture. We shouldn't be losing any of the show, but we're still losing it, which is mind-boggling to me. They also removed all the grain entirely, which from my understanding can be done. It's a thing you can do, you can remove the grain from the show without making it look bad. They've done it so horribly, there's no real line from the background or the background characters and everything just looks like a really smeary and ugly and like watercolory. It looks like it was drawn in watercolor paint. It just, it looks really bad, guys. There. I'm fully aware of this because as you can see if you look at it, they applied a flattening filter to it which just made it look super ugly. Or uglier, I guess would be the word. Uglier, worse, more shitty, I don't know. Amazing to me that the Dragon Ball thing released in 2003 are the best release they have ever put out and are so much better than this. Literally all anybody is really asking for at this point because they keep failing to support a proper release is for them to just re-release the Dragon Bosses. I'm not sure why they're not doing it. There's probably a legal reason, but they need to do it. That's really the only thing they can do at this point because these releases are horrible. As I said earlier, they're really hyping up that it's in the original aspect ratio, but that doesn't mean anything if everything in that aspect ratio looks like garbage. I think the most upsetting part is that they're asking for money and treating this as a once-in-a-lifetime special custom fanboy release extravaganza when as we got over it looked like shit. They want over 3,000 people to give them each per person $350 for this release. And then of course they're only going to create like 6,000 copies of it and like the whole thing is ridiculous. I remember a few months back when I heard about the fact that they were asking for money to help support this release and I thought that was weird but I didn't really think anything of it. I don't really pay too much attention to Dragon Ball anymore and I sat down and I was like oh but trailer for the new release is out. I may see that maybe I'll actually support this one. Maybe it won't suck. I watched it and I was blown away. This is the 30th anniversary of Dragon Ball Z's home release. And it is not only one of the worst ones they put out and inferior to one they put out in 2003, but they're also asking people, a lot of people, for an ungodly amount of money for a really crappy thing in the form of $350. The whole thing is absolutely asinine. And I'm just looking at Funimation and I'm like, they have the, the Dragon Bosses. They have them, the fact that they won't release them is crazy. They exist. Like, they're a thing you can get. 
Like, it's not like they would need to make a new release. Literally, all they would need to do is continue to release the Dragon Boss, like, the original set. Something like that, like, the Dragon Boss thing would make up for problems like the bad dub. But the fact that they're asking for money and put it, trying to put out and ask a ridiculous amount of money and trying to put out this horrible home release, like a big deal for the 30th anniversary, it's not only disrespectful to the people in Japan that work on the show and Toriyama himself, but it's also disrespectful to their fans and the people that are doing it because they're playing them for idiots. They're lying to the masses. That's what they're doing. Because they are fully aware that this is a bad release. They know it. There is no way they're not aware of it. Anybody that knows anything in animation, especially that works at a company about animation, will tell you this is a bad release. I have no education in this field. All I know is stuff I know from research I've done on my own time, which isn't even a lot. And I can tell you this release, as I've done throughout the video, is really, really bad. The thing that is most strange to me, and it's a question I would love to actually ask somebody when they ask Funimation, I would love to find out why they did this, is that this release is being marketed towards hardcore Dragon Ball fans. But any hardcore anime or Dragon Ball fan will know when looking at this that it is a bad release. This is the kind of marketing that only very casual fans of animation would fall for. So yeah, this whole thing is honestly, in my opinion, really sad and disappointing. Because Dragon Ball is really big and famous and influential, regardless of what you think of the quality of some of the stuff that happened in the, the quote-unquote, the portion of the manga. still popular. It still deserves a proper home release, especially in England, where it's so big in America. So yeah, don't support this home release. It's really shitty and it sucks. It's really bad. Don't support it. We need to make it clear to Funimation that we're not going to buy their garbage home releases. Like, they, they, they can't just put out garbage home releases and expect people to buy it. Just like they can't put out bad dubs. If they did this for any other anime, and they are aware of this, if they put out a release like this for another show, it would be bad. The backlash would be, there would be a mess backlash. There already is a mess backlash, but it would be much more bad if it was for any other show. But yeah, don't support this. This sucks. Hope you guys enjoyed, but well, there's nothing I have to enjoy, enjoy it is a strong word when we're talking about a really shitty home release for a popular series. But yeah, sorry about that. That was a negative video, but I did want to cover this and go over my thoughts on it because it is quite surprising coming from Funimation, who had been releasing good quality stuff in the past couple of years, especially for other shows like My Hero Academia. Full Metal Alchemist. Those are good productions, and when they do stuff like this with Dragon Ball, I'm always looking at them really shocked. So I wanted to make this video going over everything, but tell me what you thought in the comments down below. Tell me your thoughts on the re-release. Why do you think they're doing this? What's going on? Also, remember, I did start a vlog channel, which you can check out in the description box down below. There's a link to it. Also, as I mentioned, please let me know what you thought of the new intro we have in the comments as well. Subscribe for more videos. Follow me on Twitter if you're interested in having updates on the channel. And I'm talking to me directly. And I'm all off, guys. Have a great day.